Hello, my lovely Leos, and welcome to Anne's Gold Star Communion page here on YouTube. Uh, thank you for checking in. We have your November monthly reading here, free monthly reading. Um, apologies, it's a little day too late. Um, I've had such a bad cough and cold. I've tried three times to do it and not been able to get through a full session. So anyway, the voice is working well done a lot of work on my throat chakra so first of all I would like to say thank you to everybody who has shared liked and subscribed thank you for growing this channel I am very very appreciative and <coughs> she spoke too soon I would also like to say that this offer uh, of for November I'm going to do um, readings if you want a personal private reading 20 pounds for 20 minutes and you can contact me on my email address which is in the drop box below it's alscoles2 at gmail.com but it will be in the box below so without further ado and hopefully we'll get through this without a cough <laughs> i just want to clear the energy <clears throat> and let's sit back relax and enjoy i'm just going to bring a little bit of ting Bell clearing into the space. Lovely and clear. Right, okay, so I have my spirit cards here. What message have we got from spirit for you this month? Let's pull a card. Also, what messages or what advice and guidance did the tarot want to bring for our lovely Leo friends this month of November? Ooh, looks like things are coming together. Right, let's see. Nice. And an angel card, a message from the angels to finish off with. Put that there. Right, what have we got here first for you? Oh, a place beyond time. Where is that space? This card um, calls you to be wary of getting caught up in other people's drama. And there's a lot of that about. So when you feel that you are around people who are creating a drama, just step back. Take a deep breath, close your eyes, and allow yourself to go into that very special, peaceful place inside your heart. And there is an eternal place filled with love beyond time. So the message is, don't get drawn into other people's dra drama this month. It's, their, it's all about their issues. And the more drama you create, the more the universe gives you. Have you noticed that? When you say, I've had enough, I can't take any more. What happens? You get another dollop more on you. What? And that's the law of attraction. So we have to just step away. Don't get involved. You can observe, you can nod, but don't get caught up in it, okay? Not this month. That's the guidance, not this month. It's not for you, you've got things to be doing. Right, so what's coming out in the tarot, the advice and guidance, right? Eight of Pentacles, working hard. Working hard here for your money. But this is a lady who is planning and preparing all her financial side. Maybe you're deciding to uh, save some money. Maybe you've been saving and you're still working hard. I always feel with this card because it's dark in the background, the night sky, you could be somebody who is doing shift work. You could be um, coming home late at night, maybe there's overtime, whatever. But the, the reward is there because this is a very balanced financial card uh, where money is concerned. So balance and harmony. But working hard at the same time. And taking that theme from working hard comes the seven of pentacles. 
And you can see there that there's um, the gentleman, he's sort of raked in all the money, it's sat up behind him in a pile like the other card. This is saying your perseverance and hard work will pay off, your determination. For me, this is, could be a little bit of unexpected extra coming in for you, which always is a welcome, a welcome thought, isn't it? So there could be a little bit extra coming in for you there as well. And then followed by the King of Pentacles. So what are you doing with all your assets and your savings? How are you going to um, deal with all of that? Well, you may be seeking some financial advice from someone. Always make sure that they're in, registered with a very qualified uh, governance body. But this is um, very much about being prudent very much about um, looking at where you are in life and it's also very much about being honest and grounded but feeling secure. So we'll see what comes in next with this. Ah, <clears throat> the Wheel of Fortune. So as we've been on quite a financial level here with this, this is saying, oh, there could be something of a risk or a gamble with something you're doing. So take the right guidance if you need to. But this is saying expect the unexpected. Now I did say we may have a little bit extra this month. And this card could mean you could have a little win on something. So this card I love because it says expect the unexpected. It's about you feeling much more positive about things, certainly the financial aspect of things is going to be very positive for you this month. And it could be opportunities presented to you as well that you need to explore. And you could be think, caught thinking on your feet here, but whatever it is, the universe is bringing it in for you. Yeah. So when it talks about not getting sort of entangled in other people's drama, that's because there are some lovely things coming in for you. And you need to be in a place where you can uh, think straight and act quickly and seize the opportunity, seize the day, carp diem, seize the day. So the Wheel of Fortune there, very nice. And then we have the Emperor, another major arcana card. And the Emperor is all about structure. It's all about putting things in place. And it seems quite uniform this month, apart from the Wheel of Fortune, which could sort of twist everything around um, and having to rearrange everything. So it could even be, and I'm feeling from spirit, that you've got everything in place and then there's a change and then you're having to reorganize again. So uh, that could be something for some of you that comes in. But this is about taking the lead, taking control and being very proud of what you've achieved so far. And it could be that you are dealing with anybody that works in a government-based um, arena. So anything to do with that, and tax, um, social welfare, uh, benefits, anything like that. Um, but there could be a turn for the better where that's concerned. So there could be a tax refund or a VAT refund or something like that for some of you, um, especially if you're in business. There is a gain here, so it feels really good. We like a game, we can go and do a little bit of Christmas shopping, can't we? So, relationships, looking at this, building friendships, feel as if there is someone unexpectedly coming in around you. If you're single, someone that is a very strong, you could have two people here. Um, I, you could have an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and a fire sign, both in the middle there, unexpectedly popping across or dropping in across your pathway. And what do you do? What do you do? That'll be an interesting um, thought, won't it? So finances look really strong, really unexpected gains and structure being put in around you. Let's have a look at the angel card. Angel of music. I always feel this is about music to your ears. Um, good news coming in for you. And music raises the vibration. 
So if you want to um, move your energy further up the scale, then pop your music on your favorite music, nice bouncy music um, to get you motivated and get you doing things. But music is um, something that we all um, associate with. You always remember, don't you, um, the first record um, when you met somebody really important and what that song meant to you, or even after a breakup, what that song meant to you. But this is about keeping it upbeat, raising your vibration uh, and being positive. So a lot of positivity there for you this month, my lovely Leos. So once again, I would just like to say thank you so much for dropping in. If you enjoyed the reading, please share, like and subscribe if you haven't already. There is an offer this month that I'm doing for readings, £20 for 20 minutes. And if you're overseas, then just drop me an email and we can arrange dates, times and work out the currency the equivalent. So have a fantastic November. I would also like to say that um, there will be, will be a little bit of something extra for the Mercury Retrograde, which we're going into on the 31st of October, so stay tuned for that. I'll speak to you all soon. Bye for now. Mwah.